today we get to pick up our little puppy, Fidel, a Frenchie. Uh, we literally been waiting for this dog for a whole 12 months. We purchased the dog last year, that's my cat, last year around January. We decided to get a dog probably like two, two years into our relationship. Um, I have almost four years with my boyfriend. And so he's always wanted a French dog, a uh, French bulldog. And so I was always like, oh, skeptical, because I wanted to adopt an animal, you know, from the shelter. But he's like, no, this is, if I'm gonna get this as my first pet, I really want this to be um, a French bulldog. He fell in love with them. So I was like, oh, I don't know, they're not big. They're, I mean, they're short and like, and then we started talking about it and then he's like, we should get one. It's great because it's like a companion, it's small, it's not too small, it's not like a toy dog. And so we found a breeder last year in January. We gave the deposit, which was $500. And then we gave her the full amount. We were waiting for the animal and like with nature, things happened. Some of the, the animals weren't heat or they, they did the, the sperm, the eggs didn't meet, that type of stuff, which was understandable. But I, it was like bittersweet because it's like we could do whatever. <laughs> Okay, we could do whatever we wanted to do that last year in 2018. We went to Mexico City, which was one of our things that we wanted to do. I don't know if my cat's acting all up. I think she knows that we're gonna get a puppy. Anyways, I'm very excited. Look at her. I am super excited. I am, it's like literally so emotional to get an animal, especially a puppy, because it's just like a little baby. You know, they wake up in the night, they're needy, and especially a French bulldog, because he's just gonna be like my best friend. <laughs> I mean, my boyfriend's all like, oh, no, he's my best friend, but it's like, he's gonna be my best friend. And we have one hour to wait to pick him up. Thankfully, we don't have to travel far. The lady only lives like 20 minutes away from here. And I'm excited. I'm not excited about waking up at three in the morning to take him to the restroom. I'm excited. Well, that's also very exciting because that's just training me when I have a baby. I'm excited because I just want to see my boyfriend's face because he's been wanting this dog for like eight years and I just want to see his little face when he sees his dog. I want to see if he cries. I want to see if I cry. We just been like, the breeder is so sweet. Like she'll send us videos and photos, videos of him showering, videos of him eating, videos of this, videos of that. Like it's like we're there, but we have never met him and she's a great breeder only great reviews about her so I'm excited I'm literally like gonna show myself <laughs> so we just picked up Fidel probably 30 minutes ago we went to go take a photo for me because I wanted to have a photo of him hi Nugget he's sleepy he just got his first vaccines and the, the lady was telling us that he might be sleepy and tired and it was a little too cold it was it's cold it's probably oh it's like 43 Fahrenheit so he wasn't shivering but I wanted to have blanket off when I took a photo with him hi little guy he's sleeping yes a gang full of stuff this is this is a plethora of gifts like Squeezy squirrels, beds, the dog food. Let's see if he knows. Let's see if he knows. Oh, sneak peek. Fidel in the cut today. Ooh, Look uh, at those ears. He loves my voice, guys. He loves his food. He knows what this is. Oh, yeah, he knows what it is. We got other little toys, a little zebra toy. Oh, look. Be careful with them. Be it's as big as him. A little shower towel. And train pads. We do not need these, but we are going to use them. We're pretty damn prepared. I know I didn't make a video about that, but we are pretty damn prepared. We ha I ha 
have absolutely everything. That is actually a really cute bed. This oh, is a... Did you show them the, the bag? It's a Frenchie. Oh yeah, the tote bag? It's a Frenchie. It's a Frenchie. I have not gotten to actually hold Fidel yet, so you guys are about to witness. Take off the blanket. I need the real deal. Let me turn on the Ready to hold your son? First time, real life. Real life, get to hold. Be deli welly. Hold him in his feet, please. I know, I know. Look at that. It's like two peas in a pod. It's like you already know, know how to hold him. His heart is beating so hard. Here, hold this so I can actually hold him in both hands. So as you can tell, Del matches my skin color. That is exactly why he's always smelling me. He does not know. Look at that little boy. He knows who Papa is. Oh, oh, look at that. He's like, that's daddy right there. <laughs> and he's just gonna fall asleep. Look at those big hands and that tiny little dog. second home in Avon by the sea a couple months before she disappeared. She's with Liam, apparently, and discovers a shoebox full of cash left by her late mother. She had spent about $10,000 of it and put the rest in a safety deposit box at Carney Bank in Bradley Beach. In the hours before she disappeared, Sarah went to the bank. One of her cousins got a message from the assistant manager at the bank who said just, you know, by the way, Sarah was here yesterday afternoon. That's when the police get told, and then we send the subpoenas, and we get the surveillance footage, and then the bank records, we of course wanted to know. Yeah. It's raining, huh? Good boy. You're not scared, huh? 